Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and the very, very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings and subscription boxes, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. Speaking of giveaways, I did just announce a secret password giveaway giveaway that's going on from yesterday all the way through the end of the month. So in some of the videos, there will be a secret password, which you will enter along with your contact information in the Google form that I will leave linked for you in the description box below. You do have to be 18 years or older. You do have to be a subscriber of my channel, which I'll have you prove with a screenshot. And you do have to have a US or Canadian mailing address. All of the details will be below. This is not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I'm opening here in any way. It's just my way of thanking you. So there will be several winners that will receive a fun mystery box from yours truly. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have one of our favorite monthly lifestyle boxes and that is Hugo Box. So they actually have two different subscription sizes. They have their standard box, which is $29 plus $10 in shipping. And they also have their deluxe box, which usually includes one or two extra items. And that is $40 plus $12 in shipping shipping. So essentially a $13 difference if you're just doing a month to month plan. I do now have a link for you that will save you 5%. So as always, I will leave that and all of that information for you in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get into this one. This is our first Hugo box for the year. Now this is a box that I have gotten probably for almost two years consistently now. Sometimes the standard box, sometimes the deluxe box. Sometimes I'm really, really happy that I got the deluxe box because because it's that final item that really makes the box for me. And then sometimes I feel like I would have done better getting the standard box and it wasn't necessarily worth that $13 extra, but they don't do any spoilers. This is a complete mystery box. And just in case you don't know what Hugo is, it is the Danish concept of coziness, of warmth. It's really something that I feel like a lot of people in the West have definitely adopted into their own lives. And I think it's a great idea and I think it's something we can celebrate and kind of incorporate into our lifestyle throughout the year. It doesn't matter the season, even though I feel like Hugo is kind of associated more with the winter and fall months. So let's go ahead and open it up. So on the inside, they do give you a nice uh, description of what Hugo is. I won't read all of that tiny, tiny text but I will go ahead and look at the pretty little card which just says with warmth oh I thought they used really thick cardstock but I actually got two so they got must have gotten stuck together so this is the little image they always have sort of like a little square art print for us to enjoy you could probably put this up if you have like a little square frame or if you just have like a nice card holder somewhere on your desk it's kind of a nice little add-on and then we have the theme which is slow down to live well and then I'll show you guys again teeny tiny font but they do tell us all of the items that are in there and usually they have the item actually like in bold so I can kind of find it a little bit easier. The bottom does tell us what the deluxe box includes which the standard box does not and it looks like this time around it's just one item so we'll have to see if it was worth our extra our extra money for that. So let's see what it says. It says, hold off on new plans, forget resolutions, and take time to slow down. Embrace winter for the time that it gives you. There's no rush. Make the most of snug winter pleasures. We're talking afternoon naps, slow tea, bird watching, and reading new books. Take moments for yourself and do the things you love. This is an ideal time for thinking and reflecting, for sleeping deeply rather than doing and achieving. Treat now as a time of calm. Now, I feel like this is very much alternative thinking because a lot of us have that go-getter spirit spirit in the month of January, which I think is great in all honesty. But I think that again, this is something you can practice year round, taking those slow moments, that time to savor everything that you have. I know I feel like I've caught and I gotten off to a little bit of a running start, but actually playing catch up in the new year. So I'm hoping that by the end of January, I am caught up and then I'm probably going to fall behind again because I finally get to travel somewhere. So you'll just have to keep uh, posted over on the community tab. Then we just have some plain kind of rose color tissue paper usually they have like a fun pattern but I guess we're going super simple we're kind of slowing down here for this month so let me go ahead and open this up 
And now they do always promise that there will be an edible indulgence, whether that's a snack or something to drink, as well as an element of light. So we do get a lot of like twinkling fairy lights, lots of candles. I just think that those are two nice things that they do always promise. So right here, you guys, I think you can see there is our edible indulgence right on the top, which I am super excited about. So let me go ahead and find this. Oh, this is so cute. It's a um, Michel et Augustin. So or Augustin, Augustin, I think. So this is actually something I received in a We Please box. And if you haven't seen my We Please unboxings, you should definitely check out that playlist. It's pretty entertaining. So it's these cookie squares, buttery French shortbread. This is with milk chocolate and melty caramel. So look at this, you guys. Nice, good size package. I think it's really cute. They even have little cartoons on the bottom. These are so good. It does say that a serving size is three cookies and there are five servings per container. So we got 15 and they are individually wrapped cookies if I remember correctly. So good. It says friends for life. Michel and Augustin said au revoir to their business suits and set out to chase their dream of making the best French treats imaginable. A gazillion bites later, the troublemakers of taste, as we're affectionately known, have brought that dream to the USA. We may be in a new country, but our passion for life, liberty, and the pursuit of deliciousness translates très bien. We've planted our our flag join us on the adventure so that is pretty exciting you guys I'm very excited about this so let me see I'll probably wind up reading the same thing to you it says it is still cold and our bodies still need a little indulgence even when it's warm our bodies need a little indulgence so Michelle et Augustin milk and chocolate milk chocolate and caramel cookie squares are bite-sized gourmet shortbread cookies that taste like they're straight from a French patisserie it says baked with care and quality ingredients and no added preservatives artificial ingredients flavors dyes or GMOs each bag has 15 individually wrapped real butter cookies filled with a layer of caramel and flooded with soft milk chocolate chocolate ganache. They are so, so good. When my husband finally like discovered them where I keep all of the cookie packages, I had to kind of like hide some for myself. So it is nice that they are individually wrapped in that way. So it looks like, oh, these, these are fun. So I believe I've gotten this in an Etoile box. So these are these blooming flower teas. It's very cool. It's by the cheese. So we got a royal chrysanthemum and we also got a blue lotus. So you can kind of see them. It's like a whole flower. So these look lovely in a clear teacup or teapot. So you can really see it and experience it. Now I'm probably not gonna be taking photos of Hugo Box as often these days over on Instagram, but if I get around to it, I will show you because I did actually get a clear teapot to enjoy teas like this so let me see if I can find this it says make a slow cup of tea with beautiful flowers think about how it smells how it lifts the room and then enjoy it slowly chrysanthemum tea is a delicate mildly sweet herbal flavor tea with notes of honey this tea will help you reset from within to feel a sense of balance and vitality for unwinding after a long day try blue lotus a hand-picked flower tea that is full-bodied and earthy with a fragrant aroma it will help you get a more restful night of sleep so gotta love that so so we got cookies and tea so both we got a drink and some a snack Oh, something else we have from Serene Space Luxury Wax Melts. So I'm seeing, trying to see what the scent actually is. It just says Serene Space and it says Beautiful Spaces. I'll have to see if I can uh, slice this open to find out what our scent is. But it's a very simple little cardboard canister. Let me see. It says the definition of Serene is the sense of calm, tranquility, and feeling untroubled. Serene Wax Melts fill your room with a sense of inner peace, a complex blend of pure essential oils with top note of citrus oils, including bergamot, lemon, and bitter orange. Ooh, that sounds nice. At its heart is a sweet, fresh floral accord with just a hint of cardamom, and at its root, a rich moss and wood accord that grounds and protects. Place these melts anywhere in your home where you want a feeling of calm, Pure Beck products are made in the UK using natural and eco-friendly ingredients, clear of artificial fragrances and coloring. So I'm not sure. So I didn't see the brand name Pure Beck on here. So I guess maybe Serene is the scent. Although I also am seeing, um, I'm also seeing beautiful spaces on there. So, oh, these are nice. So they actually, they look like little like white chocolate candies, but they're little tiny domes. So this is kind of nice. Looks like we got a good number of them. I'd probably say like maybe 10. So, oh, that does smell nice. I can definitely smell the bergamot and the bitter orange, definitely kind of citrusy, very herbal, um, but also not sweet, which I really like, especially with wax melts. Sometimes I can kind of, um, get a little overwhelmed with sweeter scents. So this is a really nice, nice fresh scent that would be great in any space in your home. So I like that. And I do like the plug-in wax warmers. Those are a little bit better for me than the ones with the tea lights. 
All right, so it looks like we have got a little book. It's very cute. It says Mindful Thoughts for Makers, Connecting Head, Heart, Hands. It's by Ellie Beck, so it's a little hardcover book. So it says, some days life can be hard and finding our way through our emotions can be draining, but immersing ourselves in the work that our hands can do can be very satisfying. Mindful Thoughts for Makers explores how the making process can be used as a tool for meditation and not just a means to an end. Making can be much more than a business or hobby. It can be spiritually, a spiritually enriching activity slowing us down and connecting our hands to our hearts. So I absolutely agree with that. I love when I do have the opportunity to do some crafting. That's why I love the crafting tea box so much. Um, and I think this is kind of a nice thing, although it's kind of funny because they're like telling you about the art of crafting. I'm wondering if it actually has, it says mindful thoughts for makers. I'm wondering if it actually gives you any craft suggestions. So the table of contents is the heart of the maker, honoring the rituals, remembering to breathe, the quiet in the making. So it's kind of like the I feel like the intellectual side of thinking about why it's valuable to take time to make things with your hands um just some like little images there's a gal here like knitting all right so we'll have to give that a try and then maybe I can implement some of those ideas but this definitely goes along with that idea of Hugo of savoring you guys know me I'm not usually into getting like this kind of book necessarily unless it's like a gorgeous coffee table book but I think this one is actually really sweet and seems like something you could also like re-gift to someone once you've kind of gotten some of the the good stuff out of it. So let me see what the next item is. So this is kind of cute. So they did mention bird watching, which I thought was kind of interesting. So it looks like we've got some tea towels. Oh, it's like a calendar tea towel. That's interesting. So it does say that it is for 2022. Now I have never seen a calendar tea towel, but I kind of I kind of dig that and it's got different birds on it. So if you are into bird watching, uh, this is kind of a cool thing to have in your kitchen in all honesty. It's very, very soft. I will say that. So it is by, oh, Danica Designs, which I love their Stuff. So I'll have to open that up and give you guys a better look, but some pretty pretty birds Let me know if you're a bird watcher if you like to uh, if you can identify birds I'm always really impressed with people who can so let's see what it says about this It says winter offers us a stillness during this time of year There's no need to rush or make a lot of plans instead. We should follow in nature's footsteps It says if we watch the birds outside they're relaxing and enjoying themselves simply being we hope these beautiful birds kitchen towels Inspire you to do the same so it is just one so all right that's kind of cool I've never seen like a kitchen towel calendar it might be kind of weird to have it out like after 2022 but um, you know it's good to switch out your kitchen towels too so I think that that covers everything that is in these standard boxes so as the serene wax melts our milk chocolate and caramel cookie squares our Bird's Kitchen Towel, our two teas, Chrysanthemum and Blue Lotus, and then our cute little book that is Mindful Thoughts for Makers. So definitely a lot of Huga items. And then in the deluxe box, we got one more item. This is kind of interesting to me that it's another like book, even though it's just a notebook, but like it seems like having a book and a notebook in the same box is kind of a lot. So it says, this is the Copenhagen notebook. It features a detailed drawing of the Danish capital. All right, so very, very Scandinavian here. It says the cover is hand pressed in the city work studio in Austria using a traditional technique that sandwiches the design into the paper leaves a lasting impression on the cover and hopefully on you too so this is actually gorgeous you guys I don't know if you can see that texture that embossed uh, scene that's actually really really pretty and I do love this color orange it's like warm and bright at the same time so it says and hopefully on you too each notebook has 128 blank pages bound together in the Netherlands using OTA binding the crisp pages of a new journal are the place for a could do list or the beginnings of a project but don't forget to take a little time to reflect and remember so they were like you know stop and savor but at the same time if you do want to put some stuff on your to-do list I guess for maybe February then you definitely can so let me see if I can quickly slide this band off of here so that you guys can see a little bit better it says city of spires and spokes cycling wide and free past old kings and new smiles so it is a lay flat bound which is what they were talking about with that OTA style, which is cool. So I've also heard, well, there's Coptic binding too where it's more exposed, but that's not the case with this one. Let me see if I can get this open. It does not want to open, huh? All right, here we go. 
I'll just take the whole band off for you so you can see it. This is always kind of nice. So, huh, this is interesting. It did have like two extra little postcards in there. Look at, this is the pattern that's on the cover of it in black and white. And then we have this little like simple grid one. That's a like nice little extra. And it does have this little like flat cover. So it's not the thickest paper. So you can see again, the embossing, the design, but it is kind of nice in terms of making that, using that as a little bookmark for different pages. And it has the same thing on the back. So I'm happy with this. I don't know, like, I feel like paying an extra $13 for this notebook, this is probably one of the highlights for this box for me. Um, and so this is this is definitely a time where I am happy that I got the deluxe box and not just the standard box. Um, but I do think it's weird to have like a book and a notebook in the same in the same curation. But you guys let me know what you think. Um, I'm very happy with the Serene wax melts. I think they smell lovely. And of course, the milk chocolate and caramel cookies are going to be a favorite. I'm not like, I'm kind of so-so on the kitchen towel even though I like the birds I don't know if I'm gonna use that calendar um, and I just don't have that many spaces for kitchen towels but again let me know what your favorite item in this deluxe Hugo box for January was or what they were let me know if you'd like to continue seeing this box here on the channel and if you've been waiting I do finally have that 5% discount for you so let's make our secret password for today be notebook so it won't always be at the end of the video but I'm just trying to get you guys uh, to play along and enjoy this and have a little fun with it so again Again, our secret password for today which you can enter each password is one entry you can only e enter each password one time is notebook I'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing